Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. It's time to give you a final update about using Cupramin in a display aquarium along with all of the live rock and what to do after uh, the copper has been in your system, how to eliminate the copper. So I have here a paper with some uh, statistics about using Cupramin. So let me tell you guys the total treatment duration full dose of cupramine in this tank was 18 days and I had to add cupramine almost daily. Um, after the 18 days of uh, full copper I decided to lower the dose and trying to eliminate the copper from uh, my tank and that took me 19 days. The copper concentration dropped from 0.6 to 0, 0. I have changed 360 liters of water in uh, 6 times. 60 liters, 60 liters, 60 liters. Uh, my fish were exposed to copper for 37 days, uh, but not always the, the full dose. And uh, let me read this. And after 20 days of copper reduction, when I saw that the copper level was zero, I added back into my tank all of my corals, starfish, uh, snails, which they are okay now. And time passed 22 days since I added the corals, snails and starfish. So right now, when I'm shooting this video, it's been 22 days until I added back to my tank my starfish, my corals and my snails. And they are still alive. I still have the cupisorb into my reactor. I'm going to show you that. So let me give you this information again, again guys. 18 days of full copper dose inside my aquarium. After that, I try to lower the copper dose by doing water changes using uh, activated carbon and using uh, cupisol. It took me 19 days to lower the copper concentration and my fish and my tank w was uh, exposed to copper 37 days in total, but that was trying to build up the copper or trying to remove the copper. So it, was, it wasn't the full dose of copper. I added my corals back into the tank after 20 days since I started copper reduction. So it took me 20 days to eliminate the copper from my tank. And after that, I just decided to put back all my, my starfish, corals and snakes. And right now, since I added the, the corals and starfish and snails in my tank, it has been passed 22 days and they are still alive. Okay, I hope that you understand something from, uh, from this. I will uh, leave in the description all of the information from this paper because I'm really sure that it will help someone uh, who is battling ick and is thinking about using uh, cupramine to directly in its main aquarium. Let me show you some uh, effects from the cupramine, but uh, thank thankfully there were no effects. The water was crystal clear. Fish there were okay all the time, but my powder blue tank died because it was covered in the ick. I only lost one fish. One mushroom survived, but it's small in size. I have one mushroom over there that was in the tank, full of copper. I, it didn't die. It's still there. It's alive, but it it used to be big like this, and now it's small like uh, the tip of my finger. The ketomorpha algae that I had in my sump, it was not affected by the copper. It wasn't growing since I have 
put it in my sump. I tried different uh, light system to make it grow. It didn't grow. So eventually I, I was fed up with it. I collected it and threw it in the trash, but it was still green. It was looking okay, but it wasn't growing. So copper had no effect on the ketomorpha algae. My skimmer. My skimmer was working all the time. All the time I, I left my skimmer working. And another myth that you I, I see often online is the silicon seems absorb the copper and release it back. Silicon doesn't absorb nothing. So you can see here my tank. I build this tank with silicon and silicon after it, it dries it's inert. It doesn't absorb any kind of substance. You cannot it, it doesn't react with water or, or with anything. This is how silicon is made. It cannot absorb copper or any other substance. So you don't have to worry about that. So silicon seams do not absorb copper or any other substance. Don't worry about that. Now, let's take a closer look uh, with my corals and my starfish. I have uh, sand sifting starfish. Maybe I can spot one of them. And also I'm going to show you the cupris orb. It did change color. I am going to remove the I'm, I'm going to remove it from my tank because uh, I want to add some uh, bio pellets inside my reactor because I am trying to lower the nitrates in this tank. But let's go ahead and take a closer look to the to the tank, okay? So you can see that I have one coral over here. Open brain coral. I, I can't really I don't really know the names, but you can see it's alive. Sadly, all of my SPS corals are dead. One, it's bleaching over here. And you can see the mushroom I was talking about. That's the mushroom that survived full copper dose for 18 days and copper uh, in the lower concentration for 37 days. Still alive. My parsing senia, it's alive. I did have some SPS corals but they're dead and they are not dead because of the copper they are dead because I kept them with malachite green before the copper when I tried with malachite green I didn't remove my corals you can see my fish they're, they're still okay they don't have ick but my powder blue tank still scratches on the rock so I don't know what's up with that it could be ick it couldn't be but I have uh, uh, 20 more than uh, 30 days with no copper in this tank and it hasn't, uh, hasn't appeared on any fish. You can see a Kenya tree here, smaller than it used to be, and one over there I think is dead. And some Acropora coral over there, only the tips are alive. Let me try to show it to you can see that but I'm pretty sure it's going to die the copper didn't have any effect on my uh, coralline algae you can see another coral over here it's alive and another coral here still alive and some snails sadly snails die on me <laughs> all the time I do have some of them alive but let me see if I can find one to show you to you guys. They are hiding here between the rocks. Mm, I can't find anything now. And you can see over there in that corner. Huh? You see it? It's hiding, my my uh, my serpent star is hiding in there. And I have two more sand sifting, uh, no, uh, two more sea stars that hide in the substrate.
but I can't seem to find them right now. This morning one was just over here in the front, but I can't seem to see it now. Well, we can see one over there. You can see it right there behind the rocks. I'm trying to focus. Anyway, you can see it right over there. That's a sand sifting star. I don't know if I if I'm correct, but that's a starfish, okay? Over there. Sorry, I don't clean the sides of the of the tank. Anyway, you can see them, they are alive in this tank where I added copper. So let's go ahead and look under the tank. So right over there, it's the Kupis Orb. It was gold in color when I first put it in the tank, but right now you can see that the color change in a blue to dark color but it's the same color for many days now because it's not absorbing any more copper you can see that it's it's still yellow at the top so it does like a, a good water flow this is a do-it-yourself reactor that I built works great I'm going to take this out and put bio pellets, pellets in here just to, to try to eliminate the nitrates from my water so as you can see guys it's still it's, it's still okay let me go a little bit further from the tank let me sit here you can see it I have lost one fish and save the others if you want to learn more about my experience of dealing with ik you can watch my playlist on my channel i did try it with uh, malachite green at the beginning it didn't work and after that i remove all the colors and uh, starfish nails and added cupramine directly into this tank I removed the cupramine with activated carbon, water changes and cuprisorb and added back the corals, starfish and snails. And now it's looking okay. I have a new, new shipment coming with new corals and new fish. But the fish I'm going to put them in quarantine right there in the small tank because I cannot risk anymore. I will not add anything into this tank without quarantine first I'm really afraid of catching ick again so this is basically it with uh, with this uh, playlist guys be sure to watch it from, from the beginning and if something is going to happen this is going to be related with uh, cupramine and this tank I'm going to add I'm going to upload another video and post it into this playlist so you can have all the information to make a decision if you want to use cupramine and how to treat for ick and let me and you know this there is a lot of information out there on the internet but not uh, all the information is correct this is what i have done and what worked for me and maybe you will found value in this um, in this information guys because i know ik is in many many things right now i think it's okay i know it's been a long video but i thank you for watching to the end and if you like my videos guys and you think there there's something to learn uh, from them please subscribe to my channel and have a great day bye